even though we are very small, we are majestic. And I think that people should see that and experience that. Visiting Greenland will be an eye-opener for many and will see what Greenland has an importance to their everyday life due to climate change. My name is Erika Hamon. I'm the Premier of Greenland and I'm the first uh, female Premier of this country. And I represent Social Democratic Party and I represent also the new Greenland that is uh, fighting towards independency and also fighting towards a strong economy in a global sense. It has affected uh, us big time at all levels. People should be concerned about the environment much more than they ever did before, because the environment is changing. Our ice cap, which we see and which we experience, that also sets the weather for us, is changing. It's calving all the year round. It's not normal. And weathers are going crazy. We have storms like never before, rain pouring down, and uh, migration of the animals have changed very fast. Before we could, we knew when the orc is arriving by date. We knew when the snow bunting is arriving more or less by week. Today, you can't say that anymore, and that's only within a few years. Climate is changing in the sense that uh, last February we didn't have any snow. And the Arctic, where we don't have snow, should make people think. So we are experiencing it at first hand that ice is not here. That will result in overflooding somewhere. It will result in bad weather somewhere else. The world will go crazy. Anyone should be able to worry about this and see it. And I think it's not good enough to try to neglect it because it is happening. The whole world is talking about the climate change. We all have to be concerned about it because we see it here. And we know that what's happening here will have an effect to the United States as well. Due to the climate change, Greenland has been put into a new situation in a global sense. Because not only is Greenland ice cap of interest to all scientists around the world with regards uh, glaciology, but also Greenland's role itself has been increased. Due to the ice retrieving, easier accessible fjords and minerals in Greenland has resulted in twofold interest to the Arctic. New traveling routes, sea routes in the future to come will be happening with our mutual waters with Canada and, and, and Iceland. And in South Greenland, it has been very beneficial. The temperature is rising uh, and it means the growing season for hay. It's much longer, like two months, maybe two and a half months. So hay for their own sheep and growing vegetables has never been as good as it is today. Also, less ice means that the fishing can go on more or less all year round now. It is putting us in a very delicate situation what sort of precautions we have to be aware of to ensure that our environment is not to be the victimized part of climate change. What we do today is not the way to do. We have to be more environmental friendly. Throwing away stuff and uh, our consumption of plastics and uh, toxics and uh, other chemicals that are there to make our life easier today is making our life more hard tomorrow. It's important that we rethink our strategies for our welfare. And I think it's important that this has to be a win-win situation both, that we get wiser of this, but at the same time that our environment is to be the winner of this. And it has to be a global input. It has to be a global action. It's not good enough that some do it. If we all don't do it, we still will not gain on this. <laughs>